right here, Bill. I do want to ask you about the first punt. What, what happened and what are you thinking and how did you regroup after that? Yeah, um, I think I didn't realize how strong the wind was. Just pushed it on my hand right off the drop, came off the side of the foot, about 10 rows deep into the bleachers. Um, yeah, I think after you have a punt like that, um, I don't know where it ranks in Ohio State's worst punts in history, but it was definitely my worst punt, and I was just like, man, I just got a ball out after this one. So. Over to the left, Austin. Just, just be loud. Drew, how are you going to handle all this new bounce load? <laughs> I, I really don't know. This is first time being uh, on the TV after the game, and then I don't even know this room existed. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Over here to the right, Ari. Drew, what is it like going on television as a punter and being one of the first punters to ever do that? Uh, I, I, like I said, I didn't really even know that was a thing. Uh, I've seen guys do it after the games, but never a, never a punter, at least. I've seen a kicker a couple of times, hit a couple of clutch field goals, but uh, did not know it was possibly to be a punter. So. Right here in the front, Tim. Yeah, Drew, Drew, is there such a thing as getting into a groove on those little plop kicks? I mean, and did you feel like you were in that groove today, kind of like a golfer <laughs> dropping in a – you know, leg, uh, what do you call it, a leg wedge or lug wedge or whatever it's called. Yeah, um, no, it's definitely a different punt than your spiral punt. Um, I think it was, uh, I like to draw a parallel to a lot like the Penn State game, you know, just when you're going good, you're getting, you know, you get punts almost every drive, which is not what we want. But, you know, when you're out there a lot, you just get comfortable into that groove and then you're just able to do whatever the team needs of you, so. Over here to the left, Rob. Drew, I got to ask you after the first point, do you come off and try to avoid Coach Meyer? Uh, is, there, is there a discussion, and then does, do things improve as you're improving through the game? No, he definitely, uh, he definitely talked to me afterwards, just asked what happened. Nobody was negative whatsoever. Everybody was really positive. The whole punt team, um, you know, I knew I was better than that. They know I'm better than that. So uh, they told me to keep my head up, and I'm going to be needed in the, later in the game, and it, it showed. So. Do you sense that you kind of break the spirit of the other team when you put it down on the inside the five? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that's our goal. Pin them deep, and then we'll get the ball back and get some points out of it. So, you know, if, if we're doing our job, tilting the field on them, it makes it harder on them for sure. Over here to the right, Steven. Did you change anything specifically after that first punt that allowed you to have a night? Nice, yeah, I, uh, I just held on to it longer, trying not to let the, the wind affect it as much uh, right afterwards, right after the drop. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, a little critique. And final question for Drew over here, Dan. How much confidence does it give you as a punter knowing that you have guys like Terry and Jeff out there who can, who can down those punts when you pin them deep? Yeah, no, they, they make my job easy. All credit to them. Um, they, they just tell me, just put it around me and I'll get it down. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what we just did. Um, you know, they've been solid all year. I couldn't, couldn't ask for anybody better. So. Great. Drew, thank you very much.